I already own the first version of the Peak Design Field pouch, but I never reviewed it because I disliked the Velcro closing and feared that it wouldn't be strong enough to keep the main compartment closed while riding a motorcycle for instance. But now I have the second versions. Are the improvements good enough and my fears about the Velcro resolved? Let's find out. This is the Peak Design Field Pouch version 2, a 1.5 to 3 liter hybrid pouch slash sling bag. So you can either use it without the straps as a pouch inside your bag to keep all of your small items organized, or you attach the strap and transform it into a sling bag. First and foremost, I have to say that the build quality, like all Peak Design bags, is incredible. And there are noticeably improvements in build over the first version, which can be seen in this stitching for instance. The attachment points for the additional capture camera clip have been improved. The shoulder strap attachment points are different, which at first I thought to be an insecure attachment point for a strap, but it actually held up very well during my testing. The strap is very slim, but quite comfortable. If you don't want to use the strap, you could also just loop this part to your belt or any other kind of strap. Going inside the bag, we have a bunch of new compartments compared to the first version of the field pouch. Inside the main compartment, we have three drop-in slots and one zippered compartment with some small slots that are great for SD card for example. Overall, I was able to fit quite a lot of items inside and with its expandable opening, I can even fit my camera into the bag. However, this brings us to my gripe of the first version of the field pouch, the Velcro closing. Peak Design has changed the orientation of the hook part of the Velcro, giving it more area to grab onto the loop part. And I can confirm that the Velcro does keep the bag closed even with a lot of wind while riding a motorcycle. That being said, I am still not a fan of this, let's call it, new school type of Velcro. It doesn't feel very confidence inspiring in terms of strength and longevity. I really would have wished for a more standard Velcro on the closing. But honestly, that's basically it. The build is incredible and the features are plenty for what it is. The look is awesome, not too big, not too small and very stealthy looking. The only downside or let's say my personal preference is the Velcro. But this is also the most important factor. If the Velcro doesn't close properly after a couple of months or years, then the bag is pretty much useless. So this is something I need to confirm after a couple of months. But if you happen to have the first version or the second version, let us know in the comment section below. How is your experience with the Velcro? Does it hold up after a couple of months of use? Let us know in the comment section below. And like always, if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also check out my Instagram at you know the bow. Stay safe and healthy everyone and thank you so much for watching this video and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.